Okay, so this is an extremely big week in the fashion industry, as Kristen and I were mentioning. It is officially Fashion Week, and tomorrow's trends are here now. Joining us this morning from New York City is Hakun Panchagal, a designer who debuted his latest collections this week. Welcome, Hakun. So nice to have you with us. Thank you so much. Well, first, tell us some of the celebrities who've worn your clothing, because I know one of the biggest talks of the town has always been the fact that Michelle Obama wore one of your floral designs during the 2008 Democratic National Convention. That's correct, and she continues to wear it, so it, you know, it's an honor for me. Um, yeah, I, I mean, uh, Charlize Theron, mm. uh, Julianne Moore, uh, Jessica Biel, uh, just to name a few. <laughs> and we're talking people who always seem to be on the best dress list, so pat yourself on the back for that one. <laughs> That's thank exciting. You, thank you. It has to be incredible to, to know that so many people in, you know, that are viewed with such high authority are walking around talking about what you've designed for them, and I think that's a real testament to what you can do. And I'm curious what your take is on the 2011 trends that you've been seeing all week. Well, uh, we just wrapped up Fashion Week. Uh, you know, it's been a great week. Um, and, you know, I, I just had my fashion show two days ago. Mm -hmm. And what you're seeing is uh, something that's a, a bit more optimistic. 2011 is very optimistic for me. And mm. I think that you're going to see that in, uh, in bolder colors, colors that are almost primary, uh, you know, uh, in shades. Oh, oh. You also are going to see a lot of prints as well. So Now, when you say prints, are we talking prints like leopard prints and animal prints? Or are we talking more things like polka dots and stripes? Well, you're going to see some polka dots, but you also are seeing a lot of plaids, a lot of sort of, uh, I did a lot of tribal plaids. You know, Ooh. I was really influenced by, um, by the, uh, the Maasai tribe in Africa, uh, you know, taking color direction from them. So mm. a lot of different kind of plaids, but on silk. So oh. it's, a, it's got fluidity, even if it's more linear. And then uh, there's also a, a cool little batik print that's a bit uh, uh, sort of bold as well that you're going to see. Well, going back to what you just said about silks, I, that was my next question for you is what are the fabrics you're seeing? being used the most on the runway this season? You know, I, I, I've been so busy with my own collection, I haven't really gotten to see other people's collections. But mm. for me, uh, fabric is always important. And I always use silks because I think that that's uh, something that, that women love and it always stands the test of time. Sure. Uh, and especially, you know, when you put it in the wash. I think that that's, that's an important aspect of my collection because I want to be able to, 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 to give the opportunity for women to, to, to buy these pieces and, and, and care for them themselves. And, you know, there's technology, you know, in washing and dryers these days from Kenmore that kind of offer you know you to to sort of wash it in the gentlest way so oh, it's, that's it's great it, it's fantastic yeah it is because I think a lot of times people are intimidated by certain fabrics or certain clothing because they know that in addition to what they're spending on the designs themselves they do have to spend that extra money on cleaning so that's a great point and I would have never thought of that that's really good to know for people out you know, there you know I mean you, you you I take care so much in in designing the clothes I want to make sure that the, the customer takes care as well in caring for these clothes clothes, you know, because the integrity of the design is important for me. It sure is. And speaking of the integrity of the design, then how do you prevent from things like tearing or pilling? Because that's always my issue with my shirts after I've worn them and washed them a few times, the pilling <laughs> issue. I hate that. I mean, I have these uh, washing, uh, washer and dryer at home, uh -huh. and I can tell you that the technology is fantastic. Kenmore's got this, this uh, setting on their washer. It's, it's, it's gentler than, and, than anything you've seen before, and wow. it basically just sort of cradles your clothes, and, and it comes out not pilled and, and actually keeping the color quite vibrant. So, oh, cool. I mean, you, you definitely should check it out. It's really fantastic. No, that's great to know. And going back to the designs real quickly, one of the other questions I had for you is, are you seeing more uh, in the way of casual wear? Or are you seeing more informal wear as far as your designs this year? There's a mixture of both, actually. Okay. You know, we've seen a lot of casual wear coming down uh, the fashion uh, 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 runway for a while now. And I think that what I'm feeling is something a bit more fanciful. I want people to feel that they should dress up a little bit more, you know. Mm -hmm. But having said that, um, you know, I'm injecting these kind of fanciful details into clothes that you can still wear every day. You can wear it to work. You can wear it, to, uh, you know, to cocktails. You know, it's, it's, it's uh, clothes that that will sort of last throughout the day, but they just have something a bit more fanciful about them. Fabulous. And of course, that's body decor. Any, any tips for us out there on home decor? 
Speaking of our new washer and dryers from Kenmore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, they look good. You know, these, these yeah. uh, washer and dryers look good. You know, I always stick to the, the clean white, but the colors that they have are, you know, like ginger. They have a gold color. It's, I mean, it's oh. quite an array, you know. And, and if you're taking so much time dressing, why don't you take time to dress your, your house as well, you know? That's a great point. Well, Hakun, it's been a pleasure to talk to you and very enlightening. Thank you so much for being with us today and good luck with your new line. We're looking forward Thank to you. seeing it. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you so much.